what's up guys so today I'm going to do a review I'm going to try to do a review because I haven't done it in a long time uh, of an Marvel Legends I uh, have them all outside right now but not not these I'm going to do Spider Woman just want to show you my queen right there she looks badass uh, Spidey 2000 Dark Knight Returns um, that's uh, Spider Girl SH Figure Arts War Machine, which is one of my favorites. Spider Man, really cool Spider Man. And Wolverine. So, okay, enough of that. Um, so, I got Spider Woman from the Marvel Legends Infinite Series right here. She's a great figure, good looking figure, right? Um, when I was a kid, this was a Spider-Woman that used to be on a Spider-Man show. There used to be like two shows, so she used to have her own show, I think. This is when um, Spider-Man and his amazing friends. So it was pretty cool when I when I saw this one, I, I knew how to get it. So There's a Build-A-Figure, which is Thanos, which I really like. A lot of people complain about the size, but um, I still like it. And... Um, these are the figures in the wave. I still gotta get the the Hulk and the build the pieces, the build the figure pieces for for um, Thanos. It comes, she comes with this one, which is the arm and head. So you see all the detail. Pretty cool. Has bent here, one jointed bend, swivel bicep. And um, good joint here for connecting to the torso. This is a hinge right here, it goes that far, and it spins 360. So, yeah, pretty cool. They should do um, switchable hands for these build figures, just like they did for Spidey. He also comes with the, she also comes with the head of Thanos. So, yeah, really nice. Um, I do like the paint job. It's very cool. So definitely looking forward to building that, this, this uh, Thanos. She comes with the spider webbing. This goes on her arms, just like the, the extended ones. She doesn't come with this hat. This is the uh, DX uh, Figma Spider-Man. No, no, Mafex Spider-Man, sorry, Mafex. Um, I just like putting on her, but it looks kind of cool. It's a really nice looking figure. I'll just give you a close-up so you can see. I, I try to pick a really good paint job. So, as you can tell, um, it looks pretty nice. I couldn't tell in the packaging that she had some kind of like spill or something here. I don't know what that is. It looks like glue or something. So I don't, I've been. I'm gonna try to wipe it off with water, but I thought it'll come off because I was trying to scrape it off and it wouldn't come off. So I don't know what that is. But um, her paint jobs is pretty decent. There was some spillage here of the yellow, but I scraped it off. So. So why don't we do the articulation on this figure? All right, start with the head. She has, because of her hair, she's hindered. So she has um, side to side, that far. If you push it, you can push it more like that. So that's how far it goes. She can look up a little bit. that much the hair gets in the way um, her hair is one of the nicest things about her look so Let's see and so that's up and down that's about as far as it goes down and um, yeah pretty limited because of the hair so let me take this off let me show you her hairdo Focus. There you go. So you can see she she has pretty nice sculpted hair. 
Very nice. And uh, all right, so these things get in a way, so I'm gonna pull them off. They go, they get attached right here. There by that little peg. And uh, that one right there. Okay. So she has um, regular articulation in her arms. That's what she looks like without the things. And um, yeah, forward and back. Extended really high like this. She has a bicep swivel. Oh, okay, cool. And she has a uh, one bent arm here, and it also has a swivel here. So it bends and it swivels. And her hands move up and down on a hinge and um, rotate. So pretty cool. I like the pose on the hands. They look really nice. Her torso um, can do that. Can do that. That it can go that much back, so it can go pretty far back. I, I wish she could go that far forward, but she can't. So she can go that much forward, which is almost nothing, but still something. I wonder if you can do a mod in there and make it go a little further down, like they did with the Venom figure, the Marvel Select. There are a lot of people doing a mod there for that. Um, Legs go that much forward, down, cut right here, or side to side here, um, bends that much, and she has ankle up and down. It doesn't go up that much, but it does go down quite a lot. Um, also, maybe you can do a mod here and. Um, so you can achieve a little higher pose. Um, and she does have the ankle pivot, which is very really nice. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. She looks pretty cool. I'll only put these on her right here. Let's see if I can do them without any hassle. Let's see. Okay, it worked. I like her paint job. It's, I like her design actually. The red, the yellow, and the costume is really cool. So that's why I got her. So, yeah. Oh, great, it fell off. It's not looking, it's not looking quite right, but. Um, she looks pretty cool, I think. And I had to get her. Even though I'm not used to buying a lot of um, female figures. Um, these are like classic, you know. These are really nice. So I have I had to get them. So I'm also going to get the Storm, uh, the X-Men. Because I love the Mohawk on her. And I'm going to try to do a custom. Um, I'm going to do... Um, what do you call it? The the storm with the the punk rocker outfit. Um, so whenever I get that storm, I'm gonna try to do that. But right now she's really expensive, and that sucks, man. Like some of these figures are going up in price, so it's kind of crazy because they used to be um, like this Wolverine. This this guy used to be um, when I bought him like a year ago. He used to be like uh, twenty bucks. And now you can't find them for less than 50 bucks. So it's kind of crazy, They're going up in price. So I, I, the, that will probably happen with the other figures too. Oh, by any any chance, any of you guys are interested, I'm selling this this uh, diorama right here. It has lights. So it's, an, uh, it's a new wall I made this week. So if any of you guys are interested, just let me know. Um, yeah, and that's, that's it. She comes with the build a figure parts, which I intend to build. It's a really cool figure. I, I give I think this figure is pretty cool. Really nice looking. Um, I also like this Spider Girl figure for for some reason. Uh, they're kind of she's kind of small, which is kind of cool too. So I think they're really nice looking figures, and I like the um, 
pearlescent paint they put on her. You can see it right there. So yeah, it's a really nice figure. So the blowhorn is from the from the DX um, Mayfex Spider-Man. So yeah, definitely um, gonna get some other Marvel Legends because their Marvel Legends right now is really, really rocking. It's really, really cool, man. So I totally missed out the first time Marvel Legends were coming out back in like. Wow, back in the days when it came out, you know, like the original ones, the really good ones. So I'm definitely not going to miss out on these. So I'm going to get, every once in a while, I'm going to get one or two. Uh, and, yeah, it's just it's just a lot of fun. And, uh, wow, man, that Scarlet Spider-Man is sick. I have to get that. I'm um, getting Craven, the Hunter, Craven the Hunter, uh, Scarlet Spider-Man, and the Rhino. Because um, I love that Rhino, how it looks. And um, what else? I don't know what else I'm getting. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna try to get the Hulk Buster because <laughs> I really like that Hulk Buster. So it has a, a sick app bro, app crunch. So definitely trying to get that. Um, all right, guys. So stay uh, tuned for more uh, reviews. I'll probably do a review on this this chick right here because I didn't do a review on her. And um, yeah, they fall easy. They fall easy, man. I'm gonna have to buy some, some of those little clear plastic stands, but I just don't know where to get them. So if you guys know where, let me know. I think I saw them in Big Bad Toy Store for some reason, but I don't know what they call them. But yeah, if you guys know, let me know, please. Um, what else? What else? I don't know if I did a review on him. If I didn't do a review on him, I'll do one. Um, and him, I, I don't even remember. So yeah, this one's really awesome, and this one's awesome. So Scarlet Spider-Man rocks. Um, definitely want to get that. And um, yeah, there's so many figures, like the Bulldozer figure is really cool. Um, that Ultron looks really sick. Um, but I, I'm going to get the Rhino. I can't get all of them, so I'm just going to get the ones I really like. Um, what else am I getting? Uh, oh yeah, that Misty Knight figure looks pretty cool. Misty Knight, Craven looks sick, Craven the Hunter, uh, Scarlet Spider-Man, Rhino, Misty Knight, I want to get the War Machine, but I already have one, so I don't want to get another one, um, but I like the paint job on that one, it's like a really nice dark gray, so, yeah, it's got, there's a bunch of them I want to get, oh, Ant-Man, I want to get Ant-Man from the movie, the movie version, that man he looks really sick and uh, bulldozer which then if I get bulldozer I'm gonna have to get a wrecker <laughs> um, and uh, what else there has to be someone else that I want to get um, I might get the what's it called the Avengers on uh, wasp yeah she's really cool looking so I might get her and Captain Marvel because she looks really badass in that costume so I really like that costume so yeah those are the ones I'm gonna get um what else what else guys um oh yeah um crazy man I went crazy and I bought an Ed 209 Hot Toys so yeah stay tuned for that but I really I really like that figure man so I've been trying to get that for a long time so um I just went crazy and I got it. Uh, I saved a lot of money on it. Um, got a good deal. So hopefully there won't be any defects. So I'll do a review on that. That's going to be like freaking awesome, awesome piece. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It's probably at the end of this week. Um, and yeah. And uh, if you guys know, do you guys know if there's going to be any sales? Let me know because um, this 4th of July, I think there might be some good sales. So I might want to get a... Um, Hot Toys, I don't know, but I don't know. If there is a good sell, let me know, please, because I want to know. All right, so uh, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to be doing also some drawing videos, and um, yeah, I just still got to get to what I need. So I told you in the last review, I need uh, the clamp, and um, I need the the software, and I don't have the software, and, um, so I got to find the right software for it and then I can do but I have been drawing though so I'll be posting some of the drawings that I do 
And um, yeah, that's it, guys. So if you guys are interested in uh, buying one of these, let me know. Hit me up, PM me, message me. Uh, right now, I, I currently have it on on eBay for sale, and also I put it up on Deal Structure on Facebook. So if you if you're interested, you can either contact me through those sites or right here through YouTube. So whatever is best. All right, and um, yeah, I, I take I take payments through PayPal. So all right, so I'll talk to you guys. Leaders.